Receiving SNAP food assistance in the state will see a 12% increase in their benefits starting October 1st. The news coming from the Baker administration. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle joins us live in studio with the very latest. Glenn. Yeah, Chris Mary, the State Department of Transitional Assistance says over 500,000 households in Massachusetts will feel the positive effects of the rate increase. Today I learned how much this increase will help people in Western Mass. Those eligible for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, better known as SNAP, are going to see more money coming their way on October 1st. The Department of Transitional Assistance announced a 12% rate hike, giving households an average monthly increase of $25 to $30. Brittany Mangini with the DTA says the rate increase comes at a time where food prices are reaching record highs. This is something that happens annually, which is always great when, um, you know, everyone stops and takes a pause and looks around on the realities that folks face when they're at the grocery store or just purchasing things in general. One local food bank is glad to see a rate increase. Executive Director of Providence Ministries Jenny Adamczyk tells Western Mass News the COVID-19 pandemic paired with rising prices has created a massive influx of people who are food insecure. Our numbers had been steady before the pandemic, about 150 to 200. Those numbers shot up through the pandemic and they really have not gone down again. Adamzik hopes the money from SNAP will help households combat high grocery prices. It's something that they definitely bring up that they just can't afford grocery prices. And it's not just the people on benefits. We're seeing people who are working middle class people. Mangini tells us the rate increase is one of the biggest she's seen while working at the DTA. She says it's a step in the right direction as the cost of living in Massachusetts continues to rise. Just, I think a, a good thing to see the increase match the reality that folks face. And um, we're happy that our families will be benefit from this year's goal. Now, Mangini says those who they, or think that they are eligible have an easy way to find out. You can visit their website at dtaconnect.com. All you have to do is answer their four screening questions and, if eligible, apply right there online. We'll also have a link on our website at westernmassnews.com. Click on the blue As Seen on TV button. Live in the studio, Glenn Kittle, Western Mass News.